Mental health services for Maine's youth could be cut at a time when experts say more help is needed. Sweets are a nonprofit that provides long term therapy announced this week that it can't afford to keep current staffing levels inside 18 main schools. Jim Keithley has more on the potential cutbacks and what it'll mean. A crisis intervention team from Sweetser was sent up to the Edward Little High School in Auburn yesterday and today after the sudden death of a student there. The superintendent sent this letter saying, quote, the death of a young person is especially tragic and is sure to raise many emotions, concerns, and questions. Horrible. Every single one matters, every single one counts, and it's just very, very sad. This news comes as Sweetser's president and CEO is forced to make some difficult cuts. The nonprofit Behavioral Health Organization had 80 school based clinicians working with more than 2,300 children in 100 public schools during the last school year, a service that supplements school counselors and social workers already on staff. They're operating at a loss, so cuts are forthcoming. It might mean instead of being available five days a week, we're only going to be available three days a week. It might mean you have two therapists in your school, you're only going to have one therapist in your school. Van Bramer says there should be more funding, not less. She pointed to a 2023 Maine Integrated Youth Health Survey, which found more than a third of Maine middle and high school students are struggling with depression. Almost 20 percent have seriously considered suicide. Around 16 percent made a plan and 8% attempted suicide. It is shocking, right? It is shocking. These statistics, they lay it out and they correspond to what we're hearing anecdotally from schools, from families, from teachers. Our kids are not okay. And this service is critical to their well-being. Here at Sweetser, they said the message is, it's okay not to be okay. And you can call 988 anytime. It's the 911 of mental health. And someone will be on the other end of that phone call. I'm Jim Keithley for Maine's Total Coverage.